but it's not even chaotic. It's normal. This is a normal day in my life of the summer. I have so much to explain. This is how my morning's going. Kaya's licking her wound and she's not supposed to. And I needed to get up out of bed because guess who started barking? Him. But good morning, welcome back to Veggies by Eos. It's 7.17 a.m. I woke up a little bit before my alarm and was gonna lay in bed for like, I don't know, 10 minutes and then Max started barking. So we're up now. So I'm going to feed them. I gotta get my mom's dog to feed that one as well. Wash my face put some sunscreen on and then take them out. I'll update you after that. It is now 8.17, exactly an hour later. I didn't mean to do that, but I need to leave in three minutes to pick up my dad for an appointment. Ooh. Hey, Max. These are all the dogs. You can finally meet them. That's Candy, my mom's dog, Chihuahua Westy. You know Kaya. And then this is Max, my dad's dog. He's a pit bull German Shepherd. He's pretty happy. And so, I mean, normally taking the three of them wouldn't be a big deal. I was pretty concerned about Kaya because she is injured, as I mentioned. But she actually did really well. We went for a much longer walk than I thought we would. We went for 25 minutes and she limped like a little bit at a couple points, but overall she was doing really well. I was just mainly concerned about infection because she had a cast on to help it not get infected. And she is on antibiotics, but last night she took her cast off. And I actually wasn't home when it happened and my mom doesn't know what happened either. She either like dragged the cast off or her cone. I took her cone off right now because I, the purpose of the cone is that, so that she doesn't take the cast off, but she already took the cast off. So there's no point in keeping the cone on her, but her cone isn't quite long enough. I think like I think she can reach her hand out. I don't know. I do have to get going to take my dad to his appointment. But yeah, the the walk was longer than I expected. Although usually we would go for 30 to 45 minutes, but because she's injured, I didn't want to go that long. So I guess she's doing okay. I am going to call the vet when they open. They don't open till 9. And I did clean her injury out when we got back just to kind of help with infection and it didn't seem to have opened up again. So I think everything's good, but definitely going to go to the vet and get that checked out. I cleaned it the best I can, but I know the vet obviously can do a much better job. That is happening today too. Good news is my dad is on time to his appointments, 8.35, his appointments at 8.40. Bad news is I have 20 miles till empty, like literally my gas thing is on. First order of business is I need to get gas ASAP. And then I was gonna go to the gym because his appointment should be about an hour, 15 minutes, we don't know. So I should have enough time to get gas and go to the gym. At the Planet Fitness, that's the thing I love about having the Black Card membership. I mean, you can go to literally any location and it's fine. So this location just happened to be the closest one to where my dad was having his appointment at. Also, I'm really glad I got gas. I, okay, I think I've only let my gas get that low like literally twice in my entire life. I'm usually not like that, but I'm glad I got gas because I don't even think I would have made it to Planet Fitness. I also, so the vet's not open yet, but I might leave them a voicemail. I don't even know. Cause see, this is what's awkward. So they open in nine minutes, but I can't call them like right when they open cause they have appointments and stuff. So I probably can't call them until like 9, 10, but I'm wondering if I should just leave a voicemail for them to get back to me when they can. I think I'll leave a voicemail. I just feel like sometimes with places leaving a voicemail, like it takes them longer to get to it rather than if you just call. It's 8.52, they open in eight minutes. So I'm sure someone's in the building, so someone might actually answer my call. Animal Hospital is Nikki, how can I help you? Hi, I have an appointment for tomorrow morning for Kaya. I have a 140. 140? That will work. I'll move it to today at 140, okay? I'm texting my dad so I don't forget. Cool. Well, I'm really glad I called them now because got that figured out. I couldn't have gone in now anyway, obviously. I need to wait to pick my dad up. So 140 works great. I'm gonna go do my workout. In case you're wondering what my workout routine is, I've been doing this workout uh, not routine, but schedule for almost a year now. So three days a week, I do Sydney Cummings home workouts uh, for 30 minutes. I do her warm up workout for 30 minutes, and then regardless of how long her workout is, like, cause she has some that are an hour long, I'll just cut to the end where you stretch once I've worked out for 30 minutes. And then two days a week, I go to the gym for 45 minutes. And then once I'm done, I stretch. Okay, also, I don't know if anyone else goes to Plant Fitness. My favorite thing about like stretching at Plant Fitness is they have that big cage thing where you can like do 
all the stuff with your arms and legs and stretch like everything. My gym in Lubbock doesn't have one where I go to school and then my home gym here doesn't have one. So I'll have to update you if this one has the cage thing. I don't even know what it's called. I just call it the cage. It looks like a cage. I'm mad that not all Planet Fitnesses have cages. Maybe this one will have a cage. Three home workouts, two gym workouts of 45 minutes. So it ends up being three hours a week of working out. And if I'm unable to get to a gym, I just do six days a week, 30 minutes each instead of like all home workouts. Like I did that back in December when um, I was here and didn't have a gym membership. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna stick with Plant Fitness. Like I don't like Plant Fitness that much, but it's just so easy and convenient and it's a gym. Like, is it the best gym ever? No, by any means. Speaking of gyms, I'm actually wearing this shirt, Barbell Brigade, a great gym in Los Angeles, except there's a bunch of drama going on with JK. If you know, you know, there's a bunch of drama going on right now, so I actually feel a little awkward wearing this shirt, but it's fine. I don't really know what happened. Drama. Anyway, I need to stop talking workout. This is literally a day in my life, but it's going to be 16 hours long somehow. Okay, I also just realized, I mentioned like how I was picking my dad up. You're also wondering why you'd need to drop your dad off. Okay, guys, I have so much to explain. My dad just had cataract surgery, so he can't drive for a few days. That's why I've been driving him around. I usually drive my... My mom can't drive at all. I've been driving my mom around most days. Today, I'm driving my dad around. So to drive one of my parents to, like, an appointment or something, that's pretty typical for a summer day in my life. I'm wondering what I should name this vlog because... I was gonna vlog today, then I wasn't, then I was, then I wasn't. I've been, my idea has been to film a productive day in my life, and then I found out Kai was gonna have to go to the vet today, and I was like, no. So I'm just gonna name this a chaotic day in my life, but it's not even chaotic, it's normal. This is a normal day in my life of the summer. But another thing, my parents don't live together, they are divorced, but they live very close to each other. They both live in condos, but it's like half a mile away from each other. They live in the same city, it's walking distance, but yeah, that's why this morning I was like, oh, I'm gonna go pick my dad up because my parents do not live together. And that's why I'm referring to like my mom's dog and my dad's dog because it literally is my mom's dog that lives with her and my dad's dog that lives with him. I hope they're not killing each other right now. They probably are. Max has mellowed out a lot He because he's about seven now. When he was a puppy, oof. He was nuts. And I mean, he's still nuts. He's the German Shepherd one, but he has mellowed out, so that's good. But I mean, that dog is wild. And now that we know, I got DNA tests on all three of them. I know, I'm crazy. But now we know that he's half pit bull, so that explains why he's nuts, because, so he's gonna be crazy until the day he dies. But he's at least mellowed out a little bit. So, and I think he knows Kai is sick, so I'm not too worried about him, like, killing her. Actually, what I am worried about is the little one attacking him, because she does not like him that much, and she she keeps snapping at him and biting him, which to him is probably a little pinch. Probably doesn't even hurt him, but like still, he's gonna get sick of her crap and he might attack her because she literally, she's bit him like 10 times in the past. How long have I had him for? About 24 hours. She's bit him like literally 10 times. So she needs to stop or she's gonna get her behind whooped. I'm, I'm going to plan fitness now. I need to work out. It's now 9.44. I'm driving to pick my dad up. Um, okay, they did not have a cage, so I'm mad, but I actually didn't have time to stretch at all. So I'll have to just stretch when I get home home. My dad called me 40 minutes into my workout, so I was like, okay, I'll come get you now. Which, I know I'm crazy. I'm probably the only person that does this, but since I did five minutes less than I wanted to, next time I go to the gym, I'm gonna do five minutes more. So next time I go to the gym, I'll do 50 minutes. Did I say what time it is? It's 9.45 right now. I guess I'm just gonna pick my dad up, drop him off at his place, go back home, shower. Oh, I really want to get a matcha. There's this one matcha place, or it's not a matcha place. It's actually a bakery, but they also have boba, matcha, a bunch of stuff, and it is by Goff Mill, which the place I dropped my dad off is pretty close to Goff Mill. If you're from the Chicago suburbs, you might know where Goff Mill is. It's in Niles, Illinois. Anyway, it's called Bakersville, and it's like really, really good matcha, so I want, and they open early. I do not know any boba place except for this place that opens at 8 a.m. I really want to stop by there. I guess I still could. To be fair, my dad did say, like, take your time. He really appreciates that I'm driving him, so if I'm a little late, He's not gonna be mad. It really won't take that long. I really want it, and it's on the way. I think I'm just gonna go get a matcha. Yay, I got my matcha. I think Max is upset. Oh. Well, my dad's taking Max. We, went, we just went and picked him up. Basically, my dad could take him back now and be fine. Um, he's not supposed to lift 25 pounds or heavier for a week. And then last time they said not to bend over just for the first day, but he thinks this time they said not to bend over for a whole week. Um, like, you know, to bend over to pick up dog poop, like 
he, I don't know. So I'm not sure if it's a day or a week on that, but I'm gonna pick up Max later tonight and bring him over to sleep over again. And then I'll walk them all in the morning tomorrow so that my dad doesn't have to walk him at least. I guess you'll see that whenever I pick up Max tonight. I'm not sure when I'll go, but we also wanted to drop him off because we didn't want to leave him alone at my mom's place while Kaya goes to the vet because that would have been a disaster. Last time we tried taking Kaya out of my mom's apartment and not Max, he ran up and down the hallway about 16 times barking. It was not good. So I was like, we might as well just drop him off with my dad for now so my dad's not going to walk him. He, he also keeps barking and my mom, I mean they both live in condos but my mom doesn't want to like get in trouble. I mean Technically, Kaya's not supposed to be in my mom's place, much less Max and Kaya. So that's the story. We will pick up Max later tonight for another sleepover, but I'm gonna go shower. I'll probably make something to eat after. We'll see. It is 11.20 and I'm kind of hungry, but I also figured I might as well. Kaya. I might as well practice for just 30 minutes now and then I'm also doing laundry by the way I like had enough clothes where I'm like mm, I could wait another few days but I'm just getting some laundry done and out of the way so that's in the washer right now gonna practice soprano for 30 minutes then change the laundry and make something for lunch and part of the reason like why I want to practice right now is because I can't practice super late here because she does live in a condo and I do have TMJ so I need to spread out my practicing as much as possible so like ideally I would like to start practicing pretty Pretty early like 9 or 10 and it's already past 11 so getting my first practice session in now and then I'll try to get another practice session in before I go to the vet we'll see I'm not sure it's 12 22 so we have about an hour before we need to go to the vet so I don't even know if I'll be able to practice again but these are in the freezer so I think I'm gonna thaw these in the fridge for dinner but right now I'm making a salad yogurt going to toast a piece of bread also I need to clean this is a mess so I need to like clean I think I might cut the rest of the watermelon I also saw those in the freezer and now that I saw them I might have to have one so I'm probably gonna have one of those and I have a couple of random things to do so honestly I might just oh and I'll have to get the laundry out of the dryer once it's done that's probably just all I'll be doing until we leave for the vet at this point finally have my lunch ready I have a bunch of tofu on my salad and then once I'm done eating this I'm gonna cut the watermelon and have some of that as well okay it is now somehow already 3 45 we went to the vet it, it, I think it's fine and she's walking better so that's good but then we okay I don't even remember what I said she got bit by a dog and we went to the guy's house the other day and he originally said he would help us out with the vet bill as long as he had proof that like it was actually a dog bite because he was trying to say like she stepped on a pebble or something which like no you don't bleed that much from stepping on a pebble anyway we went back today and he it sounded like he had talked to a lawyer already basically since her foot was like under his fence since her foot was on his property and that's where I got bit technically it's my fault it, it's a very long story I can go into more detail but but basically he's if he were to give us money he'd be admitting fault and I think he is worried about us suing him so he's not gonna give us any money so oh well I that's like 250 to 300 dollars down the drain so that kind of sucks so that put me in a bad mood plus the fact that like she's old and injured like that's not good either obviously also there's construction going on in the balconies that's the noise you hear in the background sorry about that then I like I don't know I called my grandma and then I was just scrolling on my phone for like too long which I shouldn't have done I feel like doing that just doesn't put you in a great mood. I found out one of my old students is going to cosmetology school, so that's cool. Then I also, I'm in an even worse mood because I found out one of my friends who has been refusing to get vaccinated like this whole time is now saying that his mom can't get the vaccine because she could die from the vaccine, which like I get that there are some rare cases of people that can't get the vaccine, but in that case, you and your entire family need to get vaccinated to protect her and you need to be wearing masks, doing all the safe things. They live in Texas, which the Delta variant in Texas, like, I'm so scared to go back to school. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm vaccinated. I'm still pretty scared to go back to Texas. But anyway, he's trying to say that if he were to get vaccinated, she would be at a risk from him. I, I don't know. He, he's not making any sense, and I'm trying to explain it to him, and he just won't understand, and I'm extremely frustrated from the whole situation. So I'm just in a super bad mood. He, I'm trying to ask him, did the doctor tell you not to get vaccinated or her? Because, like, the doctor told her not to get vaccinated. I'm trying to find out if the doctor also told him not to get vaccinated. I can't think of any reason why the doctor would tell the people living with her not to get vaccinated. Like, I think that's the part he's making up. And I've asked him that question three times and he hasn't answered it any of the three 
three times I've asked. I'm just frustrated because, like I said, they live in Texas. If his mom is actually as susceptible to COVID, I can't say that word, um, as they say she is, his mom's gonna die. And and he just, he doesn't understand what I'm trying to tell him and he doesn't understand that by him not being vaccinated could kill his mom. I would never live here with my mom if I wasn't vaccinated. By the way, I'm living with my mom for like a month and a half. I don't even think I mentioned that. So that's where I currently am. I'm in my mom's uh, one bedroom condo. This is where I'm sleeping, an air mattress. But yeah, I wouldn't feel comfortable at all whatsoever living here if I wasn't vaccinated. It just sucks that some people aren't really understanding the full extent of COVID. And even when it comes like hits that close to home, like their own family, that they're still not willing to get vaccinated. I just hope his mom is okay because from what he said, it sounds like she could potentially die. This is probably too much information, but I'm obviously not disclosing what friend this is. It's just a friend of mine. But yeah, it's really upsetting. If you are watching this video and you're not vaccinated, please get vaccinated. Um, talk to me, reach out, and um, Instagram. I have my Instagram link below because my sister's a medical lab scientist and I will put you in contact with her. Actually, I'll put, I'll link her Instagram below as well if you want. Actually, reach out to me because she probably doesn't check her Instagram. She's really bad with responding, but if you have a serious question about the vaccine. She is a medical lab scientist. Send me your question and I will get an answer from a medical lab scientist for you. Because I was definitely a little concerned uh, getting the vaccine at first, but after talking uh, one conversation with her, I was like, okay, the vaccine's totally safe, totally like the best thing you should do. So yeah, if you want to talk to my sister either directly or have me ask her a question, please feel free to reach out to me or even send me an email on my email link below too if it's easier to email. I know DMs can be annoying, but... I'm about to practice to have my neck strap on. Uh, my goal today, I think, is going to be to practice uh, quartet music for an hour and to practice jazz for an hour. I think I'm just going to do quartet music right now just because that's more like concrete and my mind is kind of like messed up, right? I'm just not in a good mood right now after everything that happened in the past couple hours. So I'm going to practice quartet music. It's 3.51, so till about 4.51. And then I think my mom and I are going to make a pound cake so I can show you that. And then we'll probably make the burgers for dinner and I'll have to practice jazz at some point today. I also should start editing this video. I was going to, I've already started editing a video. I was going to post my HelloFresh video on Friday, but I feel like I might as well just edit this video and upload this Friday so that it's more like real time. Candy! So cute! Candy, say hi! Hi, you're so cute! But yeah, it makes sense for this to be more real time, so that's my goal as of now. So you should be seeing this two days after I'm filming it. Yeah, she licks the air. That apparently means that she is anxious, so I don't know what to do about that. So if you know what to do about that, let me know, but okay. It's almost six o'clock. I just went and picked up Max and we stopped by Walgreens because we actually needed sugar in order to make the pound cake, which we're about to do that and about to make dinner. So I'll just update you once we're like done with the pound cake and dinner. We'll probably watch. <coughs> I can't talk to the camera. Okay, she's mad. My mom's outside smoking, so she's mad because she thinks I left her mother and brought him back. And, where'd he go? Oh, he's right here. Candy, it's okay. So your mother's coming. She's coming. And um, anyway, we will probably watch some Lucifer. We're really into watching Lucifer right now. It, please don't eat the sugar that we just bought. He Okay. Kaya. What's about to make a pound cake? It's okay. She's so happy you came back. It's okay. Oh. She is so cute. She's been so happy for a long time. Oh, I know. I know. I know. Oh, I'm such a good girl. Oh, her little noise is Oh, not you. Don't start with it. Max is expecting food. Making the Beyond Meat burgers. I'm gonna have some watermelon, Doritos, and then if I'm not full after that, I'm probably gonna have some brie cheese. Brie cheese is like my favorite thing as of lately. And then, oh yeah, the pound cake. That's what it looks like right now, but it still has like 45 minutes to go, so that will be good too. And we'll probably watch some Lucifer, and then I'll probably practice after that. 
Okay, it is now 1021, so quite a bit later. Max is drinking water and he's loud. We watched Lucifer for a while. The pound cake was really, really good. Then I practiced for an hour, which was like kind of later than I wanted to. I really don't know what time I should stop practicing here. The quiet hours end at 10 p.m., but that's kind of too late to be practicing, so I don't know. Then I caught up on Facebook messages and I don't even know what else. I gave Kaya her medication, took the dogs out. I think all I have to do now is like wash my face, brush my teeth, and go to bed. And I'll probably check Facebook again and hopefully not go on TikTok because once in a while I like to do that before bed, but hopefully I'll get to bed pretty soon. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and I guess next week, oh, I will say, I didn't edit at all. I did mean to get some editing done and I did not do that. But thank you for watching and we'll see you next week.